Hello, this is David from the tech support team here at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be covering access levels and how you can set different levels for authority within the system. And that's going to be done here in the setup area of your system, which you can see via the top left link here next to your system name and the drop down arrow and you'll see your setup link with the gear icon there. Now only top level administrators are going to have access to this setup area here and that can be controlled through the access levels here along the left and you'll notice the top two categories here in italics are default access levels that are given to every system one being top level administrator and that means pretty much exactly that that you have unrestricted access to every single item in the system every function every field everything can be seen by the top level administrator they can approve and deny all requests they'll be able to see everything and you'll notice if you even edit the access level there are no settings they'll get all the notifications and have authority over everything needed the only thing here is the security level and how long before it times out on the system for that particular level the other default level here is member access which is a very 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 basic access uh, allowing members to generally just do exactly that be able to view the things they need to view uh, manage their own schedule and request time off signups and things like that and you can edit those different settings here reading through the different items here we're going to walk through an entire one here in a moment You'll notice another third one here that's been added here called supervisors. And what you do there is you're going to delegate some authority that's a nice uh, in between, you know, delegating some of that authority of some of the functions within the system to others without having them have complete access as a top level administrator would. So supervisors for the Hamilton section here, let's take a look at that. You can see this top box here called scheduling authority and we're specifying exactly that. Which schedules does this level have authority to edit? What can they do to, uh, what schedules can they approve signups, time off, trades, send out fine coverage alerts, post events to the calendar, notes, and those kinds of things. Authority is driven by schedule. If they can edit the schedule, they can edit any part of that schedule. And in this case, we're just allowing this level to have control over the Hamilton station schedule, but not necessarily the other ones. And they wouldn't, they'd be able to see those other schedules if we allow them to do so. And another reason to having a uh, delegating another level of authority here is to make sure that they do not approve their own time off requests, which of course top level can do as well. So you might want to keep that in mind. But let's look at a uh, creating a whole new access levels for say another section uh, within the system here. Let's say we need to get a scheduler in there that has control over all the different schedules. Just so not all the uh, responsibility falls on the top level administrator. So we're going to give them authority to edit all the different schedules as needed and then we just walk through the rest of the settings here that deal with the other elements within the system some of which are schedule driven here as you'll see work schedule views what can they view in the schedule can they view all the schedules by default maybe they can only view the schedules that they may work or edit now in this case since we're giving them authority over all the schedules that would be the same thing or maybe the user can only view their own my schedule view Walking through some other edit authority, can they edit the home page? That allows them to change some of the items that might be located on your home page here using the home page editor. Uh, things such as hyperlinks or reports or status updates or whatever you post on your home page. The library, can they upload different uh, documents to your library in order to have, uh, uh, have that available to your members and uh, manage those locations? The events calendar, different events that are on your work schedule in order for you to post what might be coming up for different events. Can they su submit required messages? And what that means is an internal message that's set within your, under the home page here, required messages. And that's a, a different function that allows you to post a required message for members that they need to read and agree to continue once they log into the system. And you can have them have that access to submit it for all members or only members that they have scheduling authority based on the choices of schedules here in this top box. So there's one example of how that is driven. Do you want this level to be the ability to create forms within your form configurator? Your forms in there, can they create forms? Can they view the availability for your members? 
can they see the reports for your for your system? Now, this is important in order to maybe get some information out of the system. If you have a payroll admin or a clerk of some kind, you can even set up a, 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 an access level that only has reporting authority, which really means that they can just view the reports. They can't change anything, approve, deny anything, you know, any of those kind of functions, but they can see the reports on the back end and be able to extract that data to bring it onto payroll or use it for other reporting purposes. And again, driven by which members under what schedule. Do you have admin permissions to our discussions area, which is like an online forum? Time clock, if you use that feature, can they edit time clock records for your members? Can they pick and choose which machines are used as your time clock kiosks as an authenticated machine in order to clock in and out? Can they view time off within the system for all your members? And another section here is deals with the member database itself here in the members in the member database. Can they view and or edit any information for your members? So through these choices here, we're going to choose say view data for all members and what else drives this choice here if they can view the data for all your members that includes their email and their phone number for texting purposes that means that they can send a message directly from the system as well so this is the choice that drives that particular message function you might have some hidden fields set in your member database you want to make sure to allow that access level to see those hidden fields if you want or if not they're hidden for a reason you make sure to not check that so that's the viewing options and now you choose which what can they edit exactly can they edit data for other members and which ones all members except top level administrators or again only members that they have authority over and then what can they do with their own data can they edit their own information or do you want to restrict it to only be able to edit their login password and messaging options you may want to give them a uh, authority in order to change your member database using the member days configurator which is uh, sort of your member profile form that you can configure with an unlimited amount of fields and add and remove fields as needed to track what you need for your members and then again your security function here as to how long it will be before the system times out up to 24 hours and let's say we just save the changes for that particular level of a scheduler. Now, once you've set a new access level, you can go into your member database and you can look over your members and decide who is going to be those different levels of access, such as top level administrator or supervisors. And if we go down to Seth here and we edit his particular profile, you can see the access level listed here and you can set it as accordingly as you need and save or you can even use the column here in the member database to change somebody's access one by one from the outside as well if you need to. You can also batch edit to change multiple people at once using that function here in the checkboxes along the left. So there you have it, access levels. If you have any questions, take advantage of your unlimited free tech support and give us a call or email. Thank you for listening.